Hey, hey, good people. Bonjour, I need Kinawea. This is Kenzie. <laughs> it's like uh, Christmas time right now. So, um, I introduced this to you guys a while back in winter time. I got this little tiny, well, not little, but it's a personal fire for my morning ceremonies, uh, sunrise ceremonies and tobacco offering, eh? And uh, it's been awesome. It's been absolutely incredible. And um, I wanted to upgrade, okay? This is for personal use, for my camping trips and uh, my uh, personal ceremonies, eh? What I'm doing. All right, so this has worked out real good. Now, I wanna show you something else. <clears throat> that came in the mail. And, uh, ta-da! Here it is. So we'll move this guy out of the way. This is the new and improved. So every time I get uh, a little bit of Jungia, like an honorarium we call it, which is basically a volunteer Jungia for your professional services or your helping, eh? Helping the community. They give you what is called an honorarium. We don't we don't do paychecks, eh? When we do helping work in the community, that's not our style. So I take I, I've been saving up all my honorariums, and every time I get an honorarium, I put away a little bit, eh? I save and. I will reinvest that money, half of it, back into the community um, work that we do. Sometimes I'll give money to fire keepers that come out, or an elder that speaks. It just pops and appears, eh? I'll give uh, a little bit of Jungya. So, this one, I've been saving my honorariums up and holy oh, heck, this is heavy. Sweet. Look at that, eh? First opening. This thing is actually pretty nice. Now you're wondering, what the heck is that Kenzie doing? You know, what's he doing there? Um, buying this thing, whatever it is. Oh my goodness. Well, this is a larger portable fire pit. I go to all these communities and cities. I'm asked to be a firekeeper, a helper. And uh, what happens is they don't have a fire pit. So I'm stuck with uh, using a, a pop, uh, not pop can, a big can, eh? A soup can or something, eh? And it comes with a bag, sweet, carry it. Comes with the, uh, how to use it which I already know because I have the smaller guy. So I'll put these in the box for now. This one is undamaged. Yeah. It's got some weight, eh? It's about uh, 15 pounds, I think I said. Something like that. So it comes with a, an ash pan kind of thing, yeah. Has the, uh, the air vents here for second burn. So it's smokeless, eh? It's very basic. It's just like that. The only thing I'm not seeing is missing my base. I don't see a base in here. That's for the cover. It's supposed to come with a base. Huh. Nope. No base. Oh, I'm going to have to write them up and let them know. Show them this video. Anyway, this is the bag it comes in. We want a nice big bag. So I can carry it around different places. It's about the size of, it's, it's way smaller than a big drum, hey? A big uh, power drum. Nice material. This is solid, dude. Look at that. It's got that nice uh, rubberized inside. And it's huge. That's a good bag. So the whole purpose of this is because the reason why I uh, reinvested my money 
into this is because there's a lot of uh, people. Um, I'll give you an example. One of my brothers in Toronto, he lost uh, one of his uh, best friends. I uh, was a female native. And he called me up and he said, hey, Casey, you know, I'm kind of stuck. Um, I don't know what to do, you know, um, to honor um, the journey of my best friend, one of my best friends. So I said, make a fire. And he, make, a, make a secret fire and um, put your food, offer your food, offer your sama and medicines, and just uh, be around that fire. And he said, I don't have a fire pit. We can't light fires in Toronto because there's a fire ban. We can't, um, what should I do? And I said, well, you could either use a barbecue to make a secret fire in. Just make sure you have some hot dogs on standby. So if the fire department comes by, the hot dogs will, um, <laughs> you can tell them that you're cooking. <laughs> you know, if you don't have a permit to light that fire, you're having a barbecue. Anyway, or you can buy one of these small guys right here. And just have a secret fire. Or you can use a, a can. Or you can go outside of the city to a campsite. And use one of their, um, you know those barbecue pits, eh? And then my last suggestion was, um, you can go to a native organization. Um, Anishinaabe Health. You can go to uh, Women's Resource Center. You can go to um, Mizwebik. Uh, you can go to Native, native Canadian Center. There's all kinds of different native organizations in the big city. And you can ask them, hey, can I use your fire pit for half an hour? I need to bring some friends over. We want to honor our, our, uh, our, the death in our family, the passing, and her journey. But we need to, we, we can't have a fire pit. So, you know, it worked out for him this one time, right? He did go and contact. A couple of organizations and a few of them i guess or one of them um said yeah come on over and use our fire pit yep that's what it's there for and they let them use it eh but there's other people i've talked to who have invited me to the community and they're having a sacred moon time ceremony they're having a sacred meeting with um um people eh but there's no fire pit there so this is what i reinvest in my honorarium into is to have a sacred fire pit that's portable and it's called a solo stove this is the ranger brand it's called ranger and uh, i can carry this anywhere i want all over the place and i will have a sacred fire ready for those people eh? it's so important now with this particular brand i also ordered uh, this part this is a, this is called an accessory. That's called an accessory. It's called a heat reflector. So if you look at the diagram here, it goes on top. It just sits on top and the flames shoot up, but they push the heat out towards the people sitting around the fire. So your legs and feet will get heat, more heat, and I won't be wasting heat coming over the top, you know. So this way, when uh, it's time to offer your sema, you still have lots of room. So let's put this guy on top. And it too comes with its own, its own legs and stuff like that, you know. Another thing about this awesome uh, kit here is that I can cook on it. I can make, I make a meal, you know. I can um, just sit and hang out with friends anywhere if I want because it, it's so small. It's like a, it's it's like a five-gallon jug, but a little a little wider. So there's the lid. I gotta get the legs out. Here's the legs in this little bag, the shkumut. And this is gonna require a little bit uh, MacGyver, but anyways, I just want to let people know there are options eh? you know you don't have to be um you know without a sacred fire you know i can set this up in a park and the fire department will say hey what's that you got and i say well we're having a ceremony we're having a, a sacred ceremony and it's a contained fire no one's in danger i'll always have some kind of water close by 
if I need to douse it, you know. But this is for the community. That's, this is what I'm saying, you know. I don't take my honorarium and go boozing. I don't take my honorarium and, and go to bars, you know. That's not my way. But I was taught that when somebody gifts you some junya to help your human living, you're going to have to... Uh, I think that's how it goes. I don't know. I have to look at the instruction book. <laughs> oh, lost it. Anyway, this is it. I did order the one with the stand on the bottom. It's a round hoop that goes on the bottom. I don't know where it is. But um, we'll see. Anyway, I just wanted to let you see what I got. It's going to go up here like that. It's really cool. I'll let you know how it works after I test it, guys. Miigwech for being here. Have a great day and keep those sacred fires burning. I hope.